sometimes I quote words of faith, but it's easier said than done. And I'm crazy in my head, I'll be following the stars instead of gazing at the sun. But I'm getting kind of tired of being helpless. Lord, you both my destiny. But I'm a little bit like Gideon. It's hard to believe that just be Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Welcome to Supernatural Apostolic Global Ministries. Amen. 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 We are blessed and highly favored to be here with you guys. And we thank God for each one of you, your precious lives. Amen. This is my team. Amen. My biological children. Amen. This is Apostle Joshua Alamens. And this is Beatrix. Prophetess Beatrix Alamens. A point of correction. This is Prophet Prince K. Alamens. Amen. Amen. And as always, I am Apostle Supernatural Frigga Quality Amen. Amen. Today's live stream program, our topic or the title is Who is your God? Amen. Which God are you serving? Amen. Enjoy some background music and I'll be right back.
We're going to close our eyes and then we're going to pray. All right, let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you worship. We exalt your sweet holy name. We thank you for giving us another day. We thank you for our precious loved ones across the globe pertaining to everybody else, both unbelievers and believers. Amen. Father, we thank you for everything. We thank you for this precious Sabbath day. We come before you as your little ones, as your great ones, and as your anointed ones. 
we continue to submit our spirit, mind, soul, and body pertaining to everything we do, everything that belongs to us on earth, into your hands. May you continue to reign supreme in our lives. We submit today's program. Protect us and show us. I pray and I humble myself before you. Work through me, speak through me in order for you to be for me to be a blessing unto your people. And all the glory will be back to you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today's preaching topic, the title is Who is your God? What God are you worshiping? Are you worshiping a river God? A stream God? Are you worshiping Kwaku Are you worshiping is a witch doctor your spiritual father? Is a demonic goddess your spiritual mother? Is Atia your God? Is a butcher ya your God? Who is your God? My God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. What about you? Amen. Amen. Boggle up. I have numerous of scriptures to read from, but I'm not going to read everything. I chose Psalm chapter 17, verse 1 to 5. I proceed. I'm reading from the NLT version. Please, God, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to kill me be humiliated and be put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace amen? amen let them be horrified by their shame for they say for they said ah we've got him now but may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you may those who love your salvation repeatedly shout god is great but as for me, I am poor and needy. Please hurry to my aid, O oh God. You are my helper and my savior. O oh Lord, do not delay. Who is your God? Why do you hear me? Who is your God? I'm going to read Psalm chapter 146. Amen. I'm reading Psalm chapter 146 verse 1 to 10. And then I'll start preaching. Today's preaching is going to be short and brief. Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Amen. Don't, don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they, when they breathe their last, they return to the earth. And all their plants die with them. But joyful are those who have the God of Israel as their helper. Whose hope is in the Lord their God. 
he made heaven and earth the sea and everything in them he keeps every promise forever amen, amen. he gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry the lord frees the prisoners the lord opens the eyes of the blind the lord lifts up those who are weighed down the lord loves the godly amen the lord protects the foreigners among us he cares for the orphans and the widows but he frustrates the plans of the wicked the lord will reign forever he will be your god o jerusalem throughout the generation praise the lord amen who is your god gana fonu why ni wunyame Today we are streaming live from West Virginia, USA. Amen. This is my crew. My biological children, they are my crew. They are my backbone. And the heavens back us up all the time with miracles, signs and wonders. Amen. 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 Apostle Frank Alamensa is now with us today. He's part of the team. Who is your God? You heard the scriptures I read from the Bible, right? I read Psalm chapter 70 verse 1 to 5 and Psalm 146 from 1 to 10. There are numerous of scriptures. I don't know who is your God, but my God is the God who created the heavens and the earth is in the Bible. When you read Psalm 146, it's there. Amen. 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 When it comes to supernatural apostolic global ministries, our assignment is to defend the body of Christ globally. To feed the orphans and the widow. To bring justice to the and oppressed who is your god satan and god are not the same hey, amen <laughs> when it comes to miracles <laughs> signs <laughs> and wonders <laughs> you can't tell the difference <laughs> why because Satan operates with the Kundinali spirit, which is the higher level of witchcraft. And God, the God who created the heavens and the earth, he operates with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the apostolic spirit. The difference between these two you must need and have the genuine spiritual discernment from the holy spirit that is why the bible tells us in first john chapter one chapter four verse one we must test all the spirits why because there are numerous of medium gods God calls them medium, mediums, and the Bible also confirms they are mediums because God, He is the creator of everything, the plants, the trees, everything, the seas beneath the earth. God created them. So when it comes to Antoniama. 
a butcher, yeah, you know, so coffee. I'm, I'm calling out the river gods in Ghana. They are all mediums. When you go to them, you see somebody sitting like this, right? That is the comfort, the fetish priest or the female goddess. You go and seek for what the fruit of the womb. You go, you tell them, I need a job, my marriage, everything you tell them, they'll do it for you. They don't do it for free. The moment you go there, whether they are able to do it for you or not, automatically they will initiate you spiritual. Amen. The Lord's yoke is extremely easy. But most people don't want the easy path. They see God's way as difficult. If you submit your will, everything you are doing into the hands of God every day, you will see how easy it is. Everything the Bible says, it's not a lie. I have experienced it as a person, not because I am a sent one, not because I am a chosen one, but as a person, I have experienced it. I do apply biblical principles to everything I do. It works perfectly smooth. I don't know about you. Who is your God? Amen. Ever since I was born up to today, we've all heard Jesus Christ is coming back, right? And based on what is in the Bible, proves that indeed he is coming. But none of us know exactly the time, the date that he will arrive in order for us to see his face. Amen? Amen. But what are we supposed to do as the body of Christ? We are supposed to prepare ourselves. You are asking yourself, now who is going to be our leader? I have been sent by God. I am your leader. I am an apostle. Elect and chosen by God. That is why most cases I will write on Facebook on my ministry platform all over the world. Do a spiritual background check on me, an intensive one. And see if I am also genuinely from God or not. Why? Because all of us come in the name of God. Nobody comes in the name of Satan. But the Bible makes us understand. There will be false prophets. False prophets have gone ahead of us. And they are also saying they are from God. Without testing their spirits. How would you know if they are indeed genuinely from God or they are from under the sea, from the marine kingdom? Amen? Release your mouth. Who is your God? Why do you know me? Satan can give you everything for free. Amen. He doesn't give things freely. Like the way God will give you everything free. When it comes to God, you have to pay a price. The price is submit yourself to God. And do his will. That's it. So then you always going to be under God? Yes. Is it easy? It's easy. If you are not sure and you have nobody to encourage you to push you to the top or whatsoever. Apostolic Supernatural Apostolic Global Ministries. We are here. I am the founder. You can call us. And then God will use us to assist you. Amen. 
who is your god when it comes to satan and god let me put it let me paraphrase it quick the difference between god and satan is that to tell you the truth when you go to a satanic building you will know everything there is scary it's in black red sometimes white most cases purple amen idolatry falsehood corruption etc belongs to satan amen godliness holiness righteousness godly justice belongs to god amen god does not entertain hatred jealousy in any form or shape is witchcraft period amen so do the math if you want to worship god in truth and in spirit then start practicing godliness according to scriptures if you want to you know be on satan's side then find which doctors to teach you how to operate as a witch amen, amen. because anybody i don't care who even if you are my sibling or my loved one that god has not revealed to me if you have gone or have ever visited the witch doctors the malams whatever came into your mind that you did what you did automatically that makes you a witch yes read my lips Ghana for no obi o kwa edro so bi aye be ifo o yo ba na kwa edro so wo ye be ifo o yo be ma na kwa edro so wo ya anyen if you are a man or a boy and you go to the witch doctors the malams the fetish priests the occult grandmasters for help that makes you a demon they don't have anything good for you you go there to destroy your destiny amen our live stream is almost over i encourage you to give your life to christ because jesus christ is bigger than all other gods amen 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 jesus christ will never fail you he will never disappoint you amen The same way Satan initiates people. They have the occult grandmasters. I have never heard any pastor on social media say come to me and I will initiate you to Jesus Christ except myself. I am bold enough to tell you. If you want to follow Jesus Christ, if you want Jesus Christ to be your Lord and personal savior. If you want a genuine anointing for yourself and your generation and generations to come before Jesus Christ comes we encourage you to call us we are supernatural for solid global ministries amen these are my biological children we are streaming live from my matrimonial home which is our 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 home is a mission house amen I will initiate you. You're going to ask me how am I going to initiate you? I will use the Bible because the Lord has blessed me with a historic mantles, apostolic and prophetic. I was born with it. It's all over me. God controls it whenever he wants to crack them to showcase himself. And if I want people to know that I carry the mantle, I showcase my right self. my right feet or foot so then you get to know i am not ordinary i have been sent and i'm on assignment amen we want to be a blessing those of you who follow us if things are not going on well the way they are supposed to go please don't hesitate call us call, you know my office number right if you know somebody who is an orphan a widow 
who doesn't have what it takes to have maybe three square meal in their houses it doesn't matter where you are whether you're in africa asia it doesn't matter we are here for you okay our number is two four zero four seven four two nine zero one amen our office number is two four zero four seven four two nine zero one amen we encourage you to seek the face of god pray and submit everything you are doing into the hands of god the bible makes us understand in matthew chapter 6 verse 33 that we must seek the kingdom of god first and then the rest will be added unto us amen amen I encourage each one of you to continue to worship God in truth and in spirit. Amen. Speak the truth all the time because spiritually the truth is a belt. Amen. It's a belt. When you speak the truth, it exposes all falsehood. Speaking the truth expose the oppressive systems of religion which is witchcraft activities amen witchcraft activities are not just in the churches they are everywhere by living for god by speaking the truth you are being godly and biblical amen be bold in the lord don't be afraid Amen. And continue to pray that you want the Lord to be your guide. You want the Lord to be your guide. You want the Lord to be your protection. Amen. The Lord is our everything. Everything you do, when you go to the grocery stores, when you purchase the food, whatever you purchase, when you come home safely by the grace of God, you pray and you soak them in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Everything you do, you must submit into the hands of God. And your precious lives will never be the same. Amen. Supernatural Apostolic Global Ministries, we are always here for you. Amen. Don't hesitate. I am Apostle Supernatural Figure Boati Elements. I am the founder. Amen. Feel free. Go to God. Pray and ask God if Apostle Supernatural Figure Boati Elements is she also from God. Pray and find out. Amen. Whatever the results may be, don't hesitate. Call me on my cell phone number. Okay. God bless you and make you great. Let's close our eyes and pray. We're going to ask Apostle Joshua K. Alamensa to pray with us. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank Louder. you. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all four of us together today to, to come together and spread your word to the people. We pray that anyone going through a dark time, may they contact us and may they feel better as they do. And we pray that you let our voice and reach those who need Jesus and that we can spread your love for more. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Father God, we thank you so much for giving us the strength, the capacity, the power, the anointing, the petition of speech to share your word globally with your people. We pray that you continue to help us to keep faith in you. Help us to be godly. Help us to respect and obey every word from the Bible. Help us to live righteously, biblically, godly, according to your will. Help us and reign supreme in our lives. We thank you so much for everything. We thank you for the body of Christ, Lord, and God. We soak everybody in the blood of Jesus, even our physical enemies. We soak them in the blood of Jesus. We pray you continue to protect us, shield us. We pray those people who need to repent, Lord, I pray you make your way where it seems to be new, where you will touch their minds, their hearts, their souls, their spirits, oh God. 
those looking for the fruit of the Lord, we pray that you touch them and you open their wombs and you bless them with what they are looking for. Pertaining to children, businesses, their own lifestyle that needs to be turned around. We thank you so much for everything, oh God. We soak everybody living in this world in the blood of Jesus. May you always reign supreme forever and ever in, in everything that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, you can dance. Yes, sir, what's